Sable was gifted to me by my patron Fahata Almojil and I want to thank him again for it. It's a really nice gesture and very appreciated. This is especially true because Sable is not a game I would have purchased myself. One look at the screenshots or any trailer would have put me off. The game has a very specific cell shaded look which I can only describe as looking like an alpha build of a game. I've checked and some people even describe the graphics as beautiful. The only words that come to mind when I look at it is ugly and lazy. It feels like this is the first layer of what should have been a much more complex graphical presentation but the developers simply gave up and decided to cut their losses. Looking at the character you will immediately notice that some frames of its animations are missing as well. This makes the movement look choppy and creates a feeling which I can only replicate in other games if I somehow force them to run at super low frame rates. In short, it's not something I would like to see in a game and I never got used to it. But okay, we could say the developer was not lazy but this was all a creative direction they chose to go with. I mean in theory everything is a creative direction if you think about it. Let's continue examining the game's features. Every character in the game is wearing a mask. Usually developers do this when they don't want to animate faces since it's a lot of work. Sounds pretty lazy to me. What about voice acting? Yeah, I think you guys know the answer to that one as well. It's so much easier and cheaper to just write some text on the screen. At the end of the day, this game is the avatar of the lazy developer. Corners were cut wherever possible. Luckily the game supports ultra wide both 32x9 and 21x9, so that's a good thing about it. Let's talk about its story. We are Sable, the member of an exclusively female tribe of nomads who has reached the part of her life where she needs to wander off into the world and explore. It's a sort of initiation process. By the way, I did mention that every character in her tribe is female, but you wouldn't know this because of how androgynous they all look. In any case, you will soon unlock a hover bike and be sent around to explore the game's truly huge world. Unfortunately, there is very little exploring to do. The game doesn't really tell you where to go either. There's no hand holding whatsoever. The player should be motivated by their own desire to find things. This works in other games, but those games are usually pretty to look at and offer a vibrant world to wander through. In Sable, you will mostly be traveling through an empty desert. It doesn't help that even when you do find a location to explore, it's usually some optional content which rewards you with a cosmetic outfit or some money which you can then spend on mostly cosmetic upgrades to your bike. At first, I was really bothered by the game's looks but curious to see if the gameplay will somehow captivate me. After all, it's entirely possible to have an ugly game with very minimalistic gameplay which offers an awesome story and if you guys know me, I am all about the story. But as you can probably guess, that was not the case here. The game's story barely exists in the first place. So now we're left with only the gameplay, hopefully that one could be the redeeming quality. From my perspective, a game that is painful to look at and doesn't even have a good story is pretty much a lost cause. But at this point I was grasping at straws, anything to make my playthrough more interesting. Sadly the gameplay disappoints as well. We are looking at a platformer here. You have a stamina bar similarly to how it was in Breath of the Wild and can climb until it gets empty. You also acquire a skill which lets you glide through the air. The good news is that you cannot die, but then again when you look around, what should be killing you? I guess falling down, but that always is a stupid way to die. Other than that, there barely are any enemies as well. Even though death is not something to fear, gravity will still remain a threat since falling from high will mean that you will have to climb up all the way again. Or give up, most of the stuff in this game is optional anyway. And speaking of optional stuff, there are puzzles in this game, most of them are actually obligatory and while they were quite simple, they remained a welcome sight because let's face it, I was bored for 90% of the time I played. The game the game's music was relaxing and fitting, it was decent enough, but when compared to everything else it was way better simply because the rest was so terrible. Beating the game was a test of my patience, but I managed to do it though it took me over two weeks to do so. Mostly because I'd get so bored after about an hour and would have to play something else in order to, how do I say this, cleanse my gaming palette. The sad thing is that I wanted to like this game, I really did. At the start I played for around 4 hours without taking a break thinking that the good part is just around the corner. When you look at it, it's so ugly, when you play it, it's so boring, there are no redeeming qualities here. Honestly, this game is as bad as it gets. So should you play this game? Well, 
<laughs> no, absolutely no. This is so lazy and unimaginative. It should not be rewarded with your money and attention. And let's not forget we the customer vote with our money. So if we don't give them any of it, they will know it's bad. Sometimes I like to support some developers in hopes that they might be able to make something better in their next attempt. But then there are moments like this when a game is so bad through and through. I can see that they had some kind of an idea, but they just had no idea what they're doing for the most part. This is one of those moments where I would rather not have them try again simply because I am so incredibly disappointed and I would genuinely be afraid to try another game made by this developer. With that having been said, I want to thank you for watching Game Filter. You should take a look at my other videos if you haven't yet and I hope to see you on the next one. Until then, have a great day. This is Nino signing off.